Welcome, Scorpio Sagittarius, to your spiritual reading for December. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and new and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, we are using the Whispers of Healing deck this time. Okay. We have the present and the immediate future. So just dealing with those this month. Okay. See what's going on with you. Month of healing. Scorpio Sagittarius. really big. Give me the best cards for Scorpio. Sagittarius, please. And the president says, listen to your body. And let's see what we got. Or the immediate future. There it is. Triggers. Okay, so listening to your body. Very beautiful card. She's got this dragon sitting up there, like whispering in her ear. Um, this card is representing the communicating of yourself, listening to your higher self. Um, remember, your body lets you know when you're hungry or tired, so listen to it. Okay. Um, even when you get anxiety, um, you know you have anxiety. So just kind of listen to what your body needs. Um, it says your body uses its cells to pass information to you. Are you listening? Focus your attention on your body for several minutes now. Take notice of what is going on with it. Are your shoulders relaxed or tight? Does your stomach feel at ease or is it upset? What else are you feeling? So just kind of stepping back and kind of listening to your body, right? Is your stomach growling? That means you're probably hungry. Um, you know, things of this nature. So it says take care of whatever you are sensing in your body, just as you would take care of a beloved friend. If you need to breathe deeply, eat something. Take a momentary break or anything else, please do so now. You may have developed a habit of allowing everything else to take precedence over your own needs. Doing so it disconnects you from your body. So it says that this dragon sitting on her is actually representing, um, as I said, he was whispering in her ear. Um, the dragon signifies success in your endeavors. It brings a message of luck, abundance, self-confidence, and perseverance. It asks you to remain patient, to step back, and to observe what your body is conveying to you. Okay, so... Um, and it says there's blue hues in this card. So this is to remind you to be gentle, calm, and peaceful as you strengthen your connection with your body and yourself. So very beautiful. So for those of you who haven't been listening to what the body tells you to do, um, now is the time um, to really kind of, um, you know, step back and listen to what is going on with yourself. So clarifying on the listen to your body. Yeah, it just, you're not offering you yourself any time. You might be very busy um, finding that you don't have time to eat. Um, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. I have to take care of the children or I do this, I do that. And it just kind of feels fast paced or you haven't really taken any time out to really listen to what you need extra sleep. Um, maybe you have too much sleep. Um, however it is, not eating enough, maybe overeating. Take it how it resonates. Um, just kind of listen to your body and see what you are, you know, you're needing. She looks very tired. So I'm kind of thinking you're just, it feels very fast paced and it feels like you're just kind of go, 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 go. But I also kind of, yeah, 
kind of feel like there's this um, anxiety as well going on. This is kind of just breaking the chains and having the, the realizations that you're not listening um, to your needs and you're allowing yourself to overwork yourself or um, underfeed yourself or under, you know, getting um, under relaxed, under sleep, things of this nature. Um, so just kind of digging deep within yourself and having, taking control from um, not listening. And a lot of you might even know, you know what, I am tired. I'm very tired. Uh, maybe I should just, you know, kick back and relax for a while, take a day for myself. Okay, so yes, finding other opportunities to listen, finding time for yourself, multitasking, um, adding this time of relaxation to your schedule, you know, that will be like multitasking it into the schedule. So that way you're still paying attention to yourself. Okay, so very beautiful. Um, over here it says triggers. There are things that trigger you. So once you get past this, then you have this new thing that's going to trigger. So you have to be careful, right? Because you get past this and then you realize in the next few months, all of a sudden, things might start triggering this behavior to come back. So you probably, you know, you really want to watch out for that. Um, is someone triggering you? Um, so, you know, is it a Cancer? Is it a Pisces? Or cancer, Capricorn, excuse me. Oh, you know, are they triggering you um, to be this way? Or are you running around because, you know, of them? Um, but they could start triggering you. <clears throat> So let's see what we have, number nine. So, it says the occurrences or circumstances in your life may affect you on a deep level and be stored in your memory as wounds or triggers. Your ego can become defensive due to emotional wounds you carry with you. Once a wrongdoing has happened in your life, it cannot be undone, but you choose how to handle the outcome. There is no single situation you cannot overcome. You can detach from the triggers, but you must have the will and desire to do so. Okay, so it just feels to me like whatever this is, it could even be work, you know, and you finally learn how to multitask and be like, you know what, I am. I'm going to kick my feet up for a little while and take a little break. They can just all chill out, you know, and wait. The paperwork can wait for a second. Um, you know, I'm tired. Um, but then it just feels like, and then <laughs> once you kind of get past this and figure out how to do it, this is going to come in and it just feels like this boss, this kid, um, this person you're dealing with, um, maybe a client, whoever it is, it's just kind of like they bring that trigger back and you're just like, what? And the next thing you know, you're going right back here. So it kind of feels like a cycle of how you got over here is going to try to get back over here. So as soon as you feel that trigger and you feel that need to, um, fast paced again without using your multi, you know, your multitasking to relax for yourself. You're going to have to find that and say, oh, you know what? I need to listen to my body. It's time to eat. This paperwork can wait a second. It's time to eat, um, you know, that type of thing. So kind of watch for that because it does feel like a cycle. Let's go straight to triggers. We're fighting triggers for Scorpio. Sagittarius, please. Yeah. It's like you get into this. For those of you who work, it feels like, um, you know, maybe even with children. I have these two people here, but it really feels like work or children. Um, but it really feels like you get into this limelight. They expect you to do all this stuff. And then the next thing you know, you're running, running, running. Maybe you're even, you know, as parents wearing a thousand hats. You know, I got to run you to soccer. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to help you do this. And you forget about yourself because you put yourself last. Especially as parents, we have this um, problem, especially moms. Um, you know, we do all these things. And sometimes we forget about ourselves. I mean, literally. I mean, there's been days I had to run for my kids and I forgot to eat all day long. Right? I mean, I just didn't eat. You know, and they're like, how come you didn't eat? Well, I couldn't remember. I had a million things to do. I literally just kept going and just drinking coffee and just was like, mm, you know, actually literally, you know, living off coffee all day long. And then you realize by the evening, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm drained. And I'm like starving, 
my stomach hurts, I have a headache, why do I have a headache? And then you realize, oh my God, I didn't eat because I was, go, 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 go. <clears throat> so, you know, and work can do that too. Um, you know, you got this to do, that to do. So we want to listen to our body and it just feels like this right here, this three of pentacles, they're going to need you and they're going to say, hey, you know what, Scorpio, I have this for you to do. And you'd be like, oh, okay, well, let me run over here, do this, do that. And next thing you know, you're not sleeping well, you're not eating well, and it's just that big cycle again. So what we're trying to do over here really, really feels like is breaking the chain of a cycle. And I think that's why we really got the devil over here, breaking this chain. Seems like a cycle going on. And definitely feeling like a, a cycle with the three of pentacles next to the devil. Yeah. It's almost like you're a part of your own chain gang over here, right? <laughs> Never ending cycle. So learning to break this cycle. That way you feel better. Feel more energized. Yeah. Six of pentacles. And yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah, look at the three of pentacles sitting next to six of pentacles. The triggers are, I'm always over here helping you. I'm always in the limelight. I got to do this. I got to do that. I'm always giving, you know, maybe you do community service. Okay, so. <clears throat> so getting the next card. Oops, give us. Yeah, moving on from that and going straight into learning how to give back to yourself very important. And in the end, the very last card is going to be giving yourself hope and promises um, and staying true to yourself. Um, and this way you can get away from this ever going cycle that keeps coming around. Um, for some of you, it feels like it doesn't always happen. It feels like one month it's fine. And then one month it's really busy. And then this happens. Um, and then maybe the next month, it's kind of like back and forth. Um, but this time, you're just going to kind of really break the chains and get back to the hopes and promises of yourself and making this new rewards for yourself. And you're going to feel so much more rewarded in the end for doing so, um, which is going to be really uh, feeling more at peace. You might not have brain fog. Because um, I know when I didn't, when I was always running all over the place um, and... Uh, you know, you have those days that you just don't eat. You don't do this. You don't get enough sleep. You start getting this like brain fog, but you're going to feel so much more rewarded because you're going to feel whole again. Um, so spirit just really wants you to know that on this spiritual journey, just feeling whole again is really what's uh, needed and necessary for you, Scorpio Sagittarius. Okay. So that was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.